welcome to Enchanting Eyes where every week, except last week, we will be bringing you cruelty free makeup tutorials. I am so super duper excited about this video on the inside, even though maybe it's not showing on the outside. I'm recovering from a cold and well I wasn't recovering and now it seems like I'm just back in the cold. So excuse me if I sound really croaky. <laughs> I sound if I sound gross can't speak English as usual. Anyway, I'm so super duper excited about this video today. Me and Kaylee have been talking about this idea actually for a few months and then Shanixo actually has just done a series like this. So basically now we are saying thanks Shanixo for inspiring us even though actually we were thinking about this before. Anyway, um, so we're going to be doing a star sign series, so each month we are going to be bringing out a look based on that star sign and the personality traits of the star sign and all the different elements of what makes up that type of typical stereotyped personality, you feel me? So today's video we are going to be doing a cancer look, a cancer star sign look. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of information about a Cancerian person. <laughs> Cancer is incredibly intuitive and astonishingly good at reading people. They are an intense and passionate lover. And basically when I was reading up about them, it talks about how they are super, super duper passionate. Like um, I think in relationships, but also maybe in your job or your hobbies. And then on the flip side, like um, it says here that they don't cope well with heartbreak and they are really mysterious and also like on the flip side very moody also don't kill me if you are the star sign cancer and you're like that's not me i'm not moody this is what the internet tells me okay so if google says is it must be true like i was saying it says cancer can experience crazy mood swings so i wanted to create a look today sort of um different to what you've seen on our channel more high-end, fashion-y, avant-garde, sort of like not everything has to be super blended and like, you know, highlighted and looking all golden, Christmassy, like you're ready to go on the beach or down the runway. I wanted to do something a little bit more crazy and creative today. I'm worried. Okay, so Google's given me like eminent personalities. I'm guessing these are all this like stars that um, are Cancerian or whatever you call it. So, Selena Gomez, Elon Musk, <laughs> Princess Diana, <laughs> after I've just said they're moody and passionate. Thank you, Princess Diana. Lana Del Rey! Aww. Lana Del Bay. <laughs> Lana Del Bay, according to Kaylee. Anyway, let's get into today's look. Going in with shade, blazing the orange colour from the Huda Beauty palette. I'm going into the shade Rustic. Alright, so we're looking a little bit crazy, but I just want to create like a good transition and a good base for when I'm going to put my blacks and reds in, just so that's more warm toned and it all blazes. Okay, I'm using my bright red from my Switch Beauty Unicorn Source Palette. Okay, now I'm going into shade Noir, which is the black shade from the Soft Glam. That look crazy. Okay, now I'm taking the black again and I'm going just above the red. Okay, now I just look like crazy. I'm going to go back in with my red just to bring back some of the colour. Alright, so this is where we're at. So I've got my black and then fading into red and then a little bit of black. And it's looking like really crazy right now, but I feel like when we go in with the red liner and I've got my foundation on my eyebrows, I feel like it's going to look sick. So, 
let's just keep going and see how this evolves. Alright, so for red liner today, I wanted to go and buy a red liquid liner and then I was like, you know what, I've already got so many red liquid lipsticks, so I'm just going to try one of them. So I'm going to be using Mary Jo K from Kylie Cosmetics to do my liner and let's just hope and pray that it works out. Alright, so this is super duper hard to be holding a mirror and do this on camera, so I'm going to be doing, I'm going to cut my crease through the liner, and I'm going to do a wing liner on the bottom, and I'm going to show you how it looks in two seconds. So I'm so keen for when I've got my foundation and eyebrows on now, so I'm going to go ahead and do this eyebrow. How cool though, if I say so myself, sort of learning for it. It's fun to do different things for a change. So to start out, I'm just going to go in with a light red from the Switch Beauty palette and I'm going to build up the intensity and sort of use two different reds, I think, to create dimension. So because I have dark eyebrows, I think this is going to be a little bit of a process. So I think I just want to fill in my natural brow with like red shadows and then to create my arch and everything, use my liquid lipstick. Alright, so I'm happy with the shape. I'm going to add some hairs and go in with a liquid lipstick just to feel like it's almost uniform and to add some different dimensions. I'm going to do the other eye now because I don't want to do my foundation and do my under eye colors and everything like that and then fall out and so I'm going to do my other eye and then I'm going to do my foundation and finish, excuse me, finish the under part of my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go and do my foundation and my primer and everything come back so that I can do the underneath of my eye. But I'm loving this so far, it's so super different and crazy and it's sort of reminding me a little bit of the dude from Alice in Wonderland, what's his name again? Yeah, the Mad Hatter, but yeah, just loving doing something different. I'll be back now, bye! So I went ahead and I've done my finished doing my eyebrows and I've done underneath of my eyes. And I am loving. Uh, and I put on lashes. I'll just come super close and close so you can see how everything looks. Hey, he says I'm like Frank from My Chemical Romance. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go for that, definitely. Mm. Okay. Well, I also feel like it's a little bit like Harley Quinn. Yes. Okay. Seriously though, like I love coloured contours and like more high fashion looks and stuff. Just feel like it's so fun to play with colour. Oh, what do you guys think? Like, I feel like crazy, like alien. Like, I just wanted to do something to show the two sides of cancer. Like, really passionate with the red, but like, at the same time, it keeps talking about being really moody and like snap decision making. So, I thought the red and black can go together really, really well to show the two sides, but still like cohesive, you know? So, just something fun and crazy. What are you doing? We're doing our. Uh, our um, mentally inspired cancer. So cancer is all about passionate and bossy and moody. So cancer, like <laughs> the star sign. Like, oh, I want cancer. Like people die from that shit. Did you drink uh, inspiration? That's <laughs> not cancer. I mean, it might look like cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Lips. I'm gonna try and do something really cool. I don't know how great it's gonna work out, but this look is all crazy, and I feel like 
it's worth the effort to try. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let us know how you are enjoying this star sign. Oh, someone's phoning me. Hello. Let us know if you enjoy the Star Sign series. I had so much fun doing this, something more creative and just doing like something crazy. And if you're a Cancer, let us know what you think of the whole passionate versus sort of crazy moody like vibe. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.